everything okay? You want me to stop? Yeah, let's just have a cigarette, okay? Okay. Sorry. This wasn't me, but it was something I had to try once. Those flashes in my head haunted me for years and this was my way of making them go away. I think the flashes started around the time I met Sam, back when I was in high school. Like, why does somebody just ask him? What's the big deal? Christ, I'll ask him. I mean, what do you want me to say? Shut up. If you wanted us to know, he would have told us already. Yeah, but James, how do you know for sure that he is gay? Have you seen the clothes he wears? Yeah. Have you heard the way he talks? <laughs> In the two years he's been going to our school, has he ever had a girlfriend? That's true. Has he ever played sport? What he's fucking good enough to do is prance around and take photos of shit. Yeah, I've even seen him taking photos in the toilets. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you know, who knows what the fuck he's taking photos of. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he's taking photos of us taking a piss. <laughs> oh. oh shit, here he comes. Sam's passion in life was photography. And what was discovered two years after high school was that he had been collecting photographs of human feces since he was 15 years old. I guess Sam was the first gay person I ever met. He was that guy who would always get teased and harassed no matter what school he moved to. We didn't like him because he was different and we never accepted anyone different from ourselves. Don, say it, I'm a poofter. Just once, say it, I'm a poofter. It's not that hard, say it once, I'll let you go, I promise. I'm a poofter, okay, now let me go. Yeah, 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 just one more thing. videotape that wasn't quite right it may have been a pirate copy an illegal and inferior copy for which you paid good money this is my home it seems empty now that my girlfriend's gone when you're single there's too much time for thinking and your hormones go into rehab masturbation and afternoon game shows occupy most of my time here I try not to think about her too much her name was Norma as in N for Nelly Can I just have a pot of beer, thank you? Can I just have a pot, thanks, mate? Sometimes a bartender can make you feel invisible. What can I get you? Thanks, mate. Hi, uh, just a pot, thanks. Alright. How's your night been? Yeah, pretty good, thanks. Good. good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Time. So, do you, um, do you live around here? Yeah, I live just around the corner. Okay. I don't think I've seen you before. It's because I've never been here before. Well, if you're a local, why haven't you come in? Because I'm, I'm not, you know... Oh, well... Other people do come here as well, not just gay people. I guess you come here all the time then. I guess so. 
most weekends anyway. I'm Dale. James. So James, what are you doing here? G'day mate. Hey, how's it going? Good, how's your night been? Yeah, good. How, how about yours? Yeah, alright. Who was that in the car that just drove off? Is that your boyfriend? <laughs> nah, nah mate, it's not my boyfriend. What were you doing in the car? The waiting room of a medical clinic. A cabinet display of invisible illnesses. We all sit there pretending to read our women's weekly magazines while we secretly conduct our own examinations. James, James Redwood. James. I'm no longer a stranger amongst my sick companions. What's that supposed to do? It's not supposed to do anything. It's just there so you're not looking at a white ceiling. How thoughtful. <laughs> 